Sounds and music are a very important part to designing an item that's responsive and satisfying to use. It additionally adds a lot of atmosphere to the game when it comes to enemies and other sorts of things. The game already holds a huge catalog of sounds that you can use, and you can find them by checking out the sound effect enum page on the community documentation, linked in the description. In this video, I'm going to go over adding your own custom sounds and music, as well as quickly showing you how to play them in-game. Alright, let's go over how to store sounds first, and then I'll go over music. For sounds, all sound effects in the game are .wav files, which are encoded as 16-bit. This is very important. If you don't save your WAV files as 16-bit, you'll hear an ear-piercing static screech that puts dogmas to shame. An example codec you can use is PCM underscore S16LE uncompressed. How you make or obtain your audio files is up to you. I usually go onto websites such as freesound.org and search for something that works for me. And I usually sort by shortest first. Pretty much all of these sounds you can use absolutely for free, but make sure you check the license of the sound you're planning to use and honor any attribution credits that are required. Now, once you have your sound file, you might be wondering how to convert it to the right format. Even if it's a WAV file, there's always a chance that it wasn't encoded in the way we need it to be and you'll be ear blasted. For this, I use a free open source program called Audacity, which is designed for audio editing. In this folder here, I have a sound named gorp.mp3 and a song named chocobo, which I'll get to later. Gorp.mp3 is from a meme that I still find funny six months after the fact. Opening up Audacity, you'll see this screen here with a huge empty space. I can drag this audio file into this empty space and be able to edit it freely. Audacity works for all common audio formats that I know of, and it also lets me export into other common audio formats. If I head up here to File, and then Export, you can see that I can export to MP3, WAV, and OGG. For sound effects, you want to click on this WAV option here. Navigate to where you want to store your file in your mod, which for me is Resources slash Sound Effects, which is where I recommend putting your sounds to. Now, before hitting save, look towards the bottom of the window and look at this encoding drop-down menu. Click on it, you'll see a bunch of options. The one I use is signed 16-bit PCM, so you should use that too. Name it whatever you want and hit save. Now, in Audacity still, I'm going to hit File and then New to open up a new window. In this window is where I'll edit the music file. I'm going to get my chocobo song and drag it into the empty space. Then when I hit file and export, I'm going to choose OGG. OGG is what all songs use in the game. OGG is a lot less of a headache because you don't have to worry about selecting the correct encoder and audacity. This quality slider here affects the file size. A lower quality will result in a smaller file size, but more audible compression in the song. I usually put this at 7, but you can do whatever you want. Make sure you pay close attention to music files that you add to make sure they don't become super massive. I'm going to put this in resources slash music. Okay, we've encoded both our sound effect and our song, so let's implement them with XML. And then I can show you how to play them in Lua. Starting with the sound effect, go to your mod's content folder and create sounds.xml. And then let's open it up. All right, in my sounds.xml, this is going to be pretty straightforward. First, let's create a sounds root tag and give it an attribute called root. This is the directory starting from resources that the game will look in for all of your sounds. So I'm going to put sfx slash. Close that tag on a new line. And let's add the sound. Create a new sound tag and give it a name attribute. You can put anything here, just make sure it's unique. You'll use this name later to grab the ID of the sound in Lua. I'll name mine Gorp. All right, close that sound tag on a new line. And let's create another tag within this called sample. 
The sample represents an individual audio file. You can actually have multiple samples under one sound. The game will randomly choose which sample to play, which is really useful if you want to add slightly varying sounds to one sound effect, which is what the game does for things like the tear shooting sound effect. First, let's define a weight attribute. Weight is used to determine if some samples should have a higher probability of playing over others. A sample's chance to be played is determined by its weight divided by the sum of the weights of all samples. So, for example, if there were to be four samples, each with a weight of one, each sample would have a 25% chance of being played. The weight can be as high as the numbers you want it to be. I am only adding a single sample, so the weight doesn't actually matter, so I'll just put this to one. Lastly, add a path attribute, which points the file path to the sample's audio file, starting from the root. I put gorp.wave directly in the SFX folder, so I'll just type gorp.wave. Close that tag on the same line, since we don't want to put anything inside of it, and you're done. Make sure to hit save, and with our sound effect defined in the XML, I'll now go over music. Go to your content folder in your mod again and create a music.xml file. Inside my music.xml, the root tag is set up nearly identical to sounds.xml. So create a root music tag, and then an attribute named root which is the directory the game will look in, starting from resources for your music. I'm gonna put music slash. Close that tag on a new line. Okay, music tracks in this game are split up into four different parts. Firstly is the intro to the music track, which plays when the track is first played. If your track loops, this is not played again. This is really useful for things like stage music, but also want it to loop cleanly. Additionally, you can add multiple layers to one track and play them manually, which I won't be covering in this video as it's very niche. Check out the music.xml file located in the game's resources-dlc3 folder for an example. Secondly is the main track itself. Thirdly is the layer to the music track, which plays when there's lots of enemies in a room. This usually complements the main track. Lastly is the layer to the intro. This isn't consistently used by the vanilla game, but when it is used, it's for stage music. The music I'm using is very, very simple. We're just going to add a main track, so please check out the community documentation linked in the description for the attributes for the other parts of a track, if your track has those. All right, let's define it now. Create a track node and give it a name attribute. Make this whatever you want, but make sure it's unique. This will be used to get the track's ID later in Lua. So I'm going to put Chocobo. Next, add a path attribute. This is the path to the main layer, relative to the root attribute up here. I've put it straight in the music folder, so I'm just going to put the file name. So path equals chocobo.ogg. Lastly, I'm going to make this song loop forever. Add a loop attribute and set this to true. You can either omit this or just set it to false to make it not loop. Close that on the same line, and now we can play the sound effect and song in-game after we've saved. To do this, I'm going to need to do Lua code, so open up your main.lua. Inside my main.lua, you'll notice I've set up a little bit of code here already. This chunk of code contains two if statements. The first one will execute the code within it when I press T on my keyboard and the second one will execute the code within it when I press G. I'm going to make these two hotkeys to test out the things that we've implemented. At the top, I'm going to define two variables. First, I'm going to define local SFX equals SFX manager, and then close parentheses and open parentheses. Like the game object we used in the last video, this is an object with useful methods relating to playing sound effects. You only need to create this object once in your mod. Under that, do local music equals music manager, which is the same deal as SFX manager. Okay, I'm going to create a few new lines, and now we're going to grab the ID of the sound and the song. So local sound underscore gorp equals Isaac dot git sound ID by name, open parenthesis, quotation marks, and then the name as defined in the XML. So gorp for me. 
and then make sure it's closed. This variable is a constant value, meaning I don't intend to change it ever. So I've typed it in shouting snake case. This helps readability as I can immediately tell the purpose of this variable before even knowing what it is or does. And under that, let's get the ID of the song. So local music chocobo equals Isaac dot get music ID by name and then the name as defined in music.xml, which is for me, Chocobo. All right, this next part is really straightforward. The T hotkey will play the sound effect. So within this if statement here, I'm going to type SFX colon play. This accepts a ton of arguments. The only one required is the ID of the sound, which is sound underscore gorp. It also accepts the following arguments in this order. There's volume, which is a percentage decimal relative to the sound volume defined in the options. There's frame delay, which is the delay in game ticks before the sound can be played again. There's loop, which is a boolean determining if it should loop. There's pitch, which is a percentage decimal representing the pitch. And then there's pan, which I couldn't get to work in my testing. It's possible this only works with certain codecs, or maybe it doesn't work at all. By default, as you can see, volume is one, frame delay is two, loop is false, pitch is one, and pan is zero. I don't need any of these to be changed, so I'm just gonna omit them. Next, I'm going to play the music within this if statement. Write music colon play, then the ID of the song, and the volume. So music chocobo, and then the volume, which is one for me. The volume here is also a percentage decimal relative to the music volume setting defined in the options. Alternatively, you could use something such as crossfade, which allows for a cleaner transition between songs while keeping the volume. You put the ID of the song, so music chocobo, along with the fade rate, which is a tiny decimal with a default value of 0.08. .08. Just play around with that if you want or just omit it altogether. All right, that's actually all you need to do. So make sure to save and let's test it in game. All right, first let's test the sound effect. Yep, that works fine. And finally, let's play the song. Yep, it works. That's all, thank you so much for watching. If you need help, feel free to join my Discord server or the Modding of Isaac server, both linked in the description. That's all, and goodbye. I like this one a lot.